Simon, holy, 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 a passage from the Gospel according to St. John. May his blessings be with us. Amen. You shall teach you all things and bring to your memory, so all things I have said unto you. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. That as the world gives, I give unto you. Not that your heart be troubled, neither let be afraid. You have heard that I say unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you rejoice because I say, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And that I have told you before, it comes to pass, and when it comes to pass, you might believe. I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world comes and has nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, so I do. Arise, let us go from here. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch of me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit he prunes that I may bring forth more fruit. Now I hear a clean to the word which I have spoken unto you, abide in me and on you. As like a Messiah, my Vicar Salah, or Rahul Kudus, Lanaka come to Halastan or Hamna, Rahul Kudus, and also come to Kanam Satha هذا لا تندع منا يا صالح ناس على جدت في أحشان قلبا نقيا نخلف يا الله روح مصقي من جدت في أحشان لا تطرحني قدام والركوع القدوس لا تندع مني أيها الرب الذي أرسلت روح قدسك على الأنديسين وصلك المكان في الساعة الثالثة هذا لا تندع منا يا صالح لكن ناس على جدت في أحشان يا ربنا يسوع المسيح من الله الكلمة روحا مستقيما ومحيا روحا نبوة ولافة روح القداسة والعدالة والسلطة أيها القادر على كل شيء أنت هو ضياء نفوسنا يا من يضي لكل إنسانات للعالم الرحمن يا والدة للان تلك رمى الحقاني الحامل عن قود الحياة نسألك يا ممتلئ نعم مع الرسل نجل خلاص نفوسنا مبارك الرب إلىنا مبارك الرب يوما في يوما هي طريقنا لأنه إلى خلاصنا أيها الملك السماء المعذر والحق الحاضر في كل مكان وملك كل كان الصالحات ومعت الحياة المتفتى الوحيد فينا وتعالى من كل دلس أيها الصالح وخلص نفوسنا كما كنت مع تلميذ كريم المخلص وعدت أبو السلام هلما أيضا كنت معنا ونحن سلام خلصنا يا رب ونجي نفوسنا كانين كعيك استوسعون استوسعون نامين Whenever we stand in your holy sanctuary we are considered standing in the heaven O Theotokos you are the gate of heaven Open for us the gate of mercy. Good God. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who was born of the Virgin, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who rose and then sent to heavens, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to ease of all ages. Amen. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, visit the sick of your people, heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our fathers and brethren have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls. You are without sin, Lord, have mercy on us. You are without sin, Lord, help us to receive our supplications. Yours is the glory, the many and triple holiness. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, bless them. And Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but let us evil one in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thy kingdom, power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Father art in heaven. Hail to me, ask you, saint full of glory. Hail, Lord, virgin, Lord, 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 the mother of Christ. Lift up our prayers unto your beloved Son, that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to the holy virgin who has brought forth unto us the true light, Christ our God. Ask the Lord in our behalf that he have mercy on our souls and forgive us our sins. O Virgin Mary, the holy field to go to faithful advocate for all mankind, intercede on our behalf before Christ whom we bore that he may grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen. Hail to the pride of our race, who bore to us, Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins.
seeing the multitudes, when he went up on a mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. The city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Glory be to God forever and in the house. Some of the Christians and Pope Navatos and Pope Nabato Abjek, Exotim on my non. O you who on the sixth day and in the sixth hour was nailed to the cross for the sin which our Father Adam did commit in paradise, tear the handwriting of our sins, O Christ our God, and save us, I cried to the Lord, and he heard me. God, hear my prayer and do not refuse my petition. Be attentive to me and hear me in the evening, in the morning, and at midday. I say my word, and he hears my voice and delivers my soul in peace. O Jesus Christ, our God, who was nailed to the cross in the sixth hour and killed him by the tree, and by your death you made alive the dead man whom you created with your own hands and had died in sin. Put to death our pains by your healing and life-giving passions and by nails with which you were nailed. Rescue our minds from right and thoughtlessness of the earthly deeds and worldly lusts to the remembrance of your heavenly commandments according to your compassion. <laughs> Since we have no favor nor excuse nor justification because of our many sins, we through you implored him who was born of you, O Theotokos the Virgin, the abundant acceptable is your intercession with our Savior. O pure mother, do not exclude sins from your intercession with him whom you bore, for he is merciful and able to save us because he suffered for us to deliver us. Let your compassion speedily reach us, for we are exceedingly humbled. Help us, O God, and our Savior, for the glory of your name, O Lord. Deliver us and deliver us and forgive us for our sins for the sake of your holy name. خلاص ما في فصلار ذو كل يوم المسيح لنا عندما بسطت يديك الطاهرة على عود الصليب لهذا كل الأمم تصرخ قائلة المجد لك يا رب نسجد لشخصك غير الفاسد أيها الصالح طالبين مغفرة خطايا المسيح لنا المشيتك سرور تصعد على الصليب تنجي الذين خلقتهم من عبودية العود من نصرخ إليك ونشكرك لأنك ملأت الكل فرحا أيها المخلص لما أتيت لتعين العالم يا رب المجد لك أنت يا الممتلئ نعمة يا والدة للا العذراء نعظمك لأن من قبل صليب ابنك انهبط الجحيم وباطل الموت أمواتا كنا فنهضنا واستحققنا الحياة الأبدية نلنا نعيم الفردوس الأول من أجل هذا نمجد بشكر غير المات المسيح إلهنا we believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth, and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, one is with the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came back from heaven, was incarnated with the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became man, 
and he was crucified for us, and the Pontius Pilate suffered as his very third day, he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens, he sits the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, who will see him try no end. He has to believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father, the Son, is worshipped and glorified, who is spoken by the prophets, and the one holy Catholic of the Catholic Church, we confess on baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, hear us, have mercy on us, and forgive us our sins. Amen. and edification to the only one holy Catholic and apostolic Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought to you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them, Lord, have mercy. Alleluia, Gemme, and Oromi, and Eon, and Akebole, Oh, 
Accepted us unto yourself, spared us, supported us, and ever brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion upon us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers for his saint with that it's good on our behalf at all times and to keep the life and standing of our Pope about our drones the second and his partners in the apostolic liturgy, our righteous father, Bishop Suriel, and our righteous father, Bishop David, and to make us worthy to partake of the Holy Communion for the remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O Lord of mankind. Grant us complete this holy day and all the days of our life 
in all peace with your fear. O run we all temptation, all the work of saints and the counsel of wicked men, and the rising up of enemies hidden will manifest, take them away from us and from all your people and from this table and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the grace, compassion, love of mankind of your only begotten Son, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the deacons, the clergy, all the people on my weak self be absorbed from the mouth of the Holy Trinity, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, from the mouth of the one only Holy Catholic Apostolic Church, and from the mouth of the twelve apostles, and from the mouth of the Beholder of God, the Evangelist, St. Mark, the Apostle Matthew, Patriarch, St. Severus, our teacher, the Escorus, St. Athanasius, the Apostolic, St. Peter, the Holy Mother, and High Priest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Cyril, St. Basil, St. Gregory, from the mouth of the 318 assembled in Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus, and from the mouth of Ahmed Father, High Priest Pope Abba Tawadros II, and his partner in apostolic liturgy, Ahmed Father, the Bishop Abba David, and from the mouth of my abject self, for blessed and full of glory is your holy name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and all times, and to the age of all ages. Amen.
servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God, a chapter from the epistle of our teacher Paul to the Romans, his blessings be upon us. Amen. Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Do you, do you want to be unafraid of the authority? 
do what is good, and you will have praise from the same. For he is God's ministers to you for good. But if you do evil, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is God's minister, an avenger to execute wrath on him who practices evil. Therefore, you must be subject, not only because of wrath, but also for conscience sake. For because of this, you also pay taxes, for they are God's ministers attending continually to this very thing. Render, therefore, to all their dues, taxes to whom taxes are due, customs to whom customs, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for he who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not covet. And if there is any other commandment, all are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does, not harm to a, love does no harm to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. And do this knowing the time, that now it is high, now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in rivalry and, and drunkenness, not in licentiousness and lewdness, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lusts. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic Epistle from the Epistle of our teacher, St. James. May his blessings be upon us. Amen. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then, when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Therefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. Do not love the world nor the things which are in the world, for the world shall pass away in all its desires, but he who does the will of God shall abide forever. Amen. Remember me. of our fathers, their holy blessings be with us all. Amen. 
So when he had given him permission, Paul stood on the stairs and motioned with his hand to the people. And when there was a great silence, he spoke to them in Hebrew, in the Hebrew language, saying, Men, brethren, and fathers, hear my defense before you now. And when they heard that he spoke to them in the Hebrew language, they kept all the more silent. Then he said, I am indeed a Jew, born in Tarsus of, of Cilicia, but brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, taught according to the strictness of our father's law, and was zealous toward God as you all are today. I persecuted this way to the death, binding and delivering it to prisons, both men and women, as also the high priest bears me witness and all the council of elders from whom I also received letters to the brethren and went to Damascus to bring in chains even those who were there to Jerusalem to be punished. Now it happened as I journeyed and came near Damascus at about noon, suddenly a great light from heaven shone around me. And I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? So I answered, Who are you, Lord? And he said to me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting. Now those who were with me indeed saw the light and were afraid. But they did not hear the voice of the Lord who spoke to me. So I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said to me, Arise and go to Damascus, and there you will be told all things which are appointed for you to do. And since I could not see for the glory of that light being led by the hand of those who were with me, I came into Damascus. Then one Ananias, a devout man according to the law, having a good testimony with all the Jews who dwelt there, came to me. And he stood and said to me, Brother Saul, receive your sight. And at that same hour I looked up at him. Then he said, The God of our fathers has chosen you, that you should know his will, and see the just one, and hear the voice of his mouth. For you will be his witness to all men of what you have seen and heard. And now why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is the eighth day of the blessed month of Paramahat. May God begin it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, O oh my fathers and my brethren. Amen. On this day of the year 68 AD, St. Matthias the Apostle was martyred. He was born in the region of Galilee, followed the apostles, and was chosen in place of Judas Iscariot during the apostolic assembly in the upper room of Zion. Our teacher, St. Peter, the apostle, stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, Men and brethren, this scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke before by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus, for he was numbered with us and obtained a part in this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the wages of iniquity, and falling headlong, and he had burst open in the middle, and all his entrails gushed out. And it became known to all those dwelling in Jerusalem. So that field is called in their own language, Akeldama, that is, field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate, and let no one live in it. Let another take his office. Therefore, of these men, who have accompanied us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John to that day when he was taken up from us. One of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. They proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was surnamed Justos, and Matthias, and they prayed and said, you, O Lord, who know the hearts of all, Show which of these two you have chosen to take part in this ministry, an apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they cast their lot, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles, Acts 1, 15 to 26. Afterwards, St. Matthias was filled with the Holy Spirit that descended upon the apostles on the day of Pentecost. He preached the gospel in Judah, Samaria, Cappadocia, and it was also said that he went to the country of cannibals. 
he went on preaching the gospel until he, pre he reached the city of Bartos, where he preached the gospel, but they seized him for his, for his people did not accept the word and imprisoned him. St. Matthias prayed interceding to the Virgin St. Mary, who came on a cloud when she entered into the city, all the iron therein melted as wax. She went to the prison, released St. Matthias, the apostle, and all those who were imprisoned with him for the sake of faith. When the governor of the city heard about what had happened, he requested to see the Virgin St. Mary. She came to him along with St. Matthias, the apostle, and she healed his son who was possessed. The governor and all the people of the city believed. St. Mary prayed and all the iron changed back into the former state and she went up on a luminous cloud. St. Matthias baptized the people of the city and tarried the, their teaching and confirming them in the faith. He ordained priests for them and after he was confident of their faith, he left them to resume his evangelism. St. Matthias went to the city of Damascus and preached there in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The people of the city became angry, seized and tormented him. They laid him upon an iron bed. They light lighted a fire under it, which did not harm him, but his face was shining like the sun. They marveled exceedingly, and they all believed in the Lord Jesus Christ at the hands of the saint, who baptized and ordained peace for them. He tarried many days with them, confirming them in the faith. And when he returned to Jerusalem, the Jews stoned him, so he was martyred and received the crown of martyrdom. The blessed prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also of the year 188 A.D., the Holy Father, Pope Julian, the event, the 11th Patriarch of Alexandria departed. This, fa this father was a student in the theological school of Alexandria, which was established by St. Mark, who was a disciple of St. Pantinios. He excelled and surpassed many in his knowledge and righteousness and purity. He was ordained a priest in the city of Alexandria, then Patriarch on the 9th of Paramhat in the year 178 AD. After his enthronement, he gave a great attention to the spiritual growth of his flock that incited the pagan not to allow him to leave the city of Alexandria. So he used to leave the city to, in secret to ordain priests everywhere and visit his flock. Before his departure, the angel of the Lord announced to him that the one who will bring him a cluster of grapes is the one who to succeed him on the patriarchal throne. One day, while Demetrius, the vine dresser, who was a lay person, was trimming his vine, he found a cluster of grapes which was not in season. He decided to present it to the patriarch of Julian as a gift. While the bishops and the lay leaders were gathered around the Pope, he foretold them about who found who would be on the throne after him. He told them that a person carrying a cluster of grapes would be coming to present it to him. And they all marveled and were amazed of what the Pope had told them. While they were perplexed, Demetrius came carrying the cluster of grapes in his hand and presented it to the Pope. Pope Julian rejoiced for the fulfillment of his vision and everyone around him was also pleased. He commanded them to enthrone Demetrius, Patriarch, after him. He occupied the apostolic throne for 10 years after he finished his good endeavor, departed in peace. The blessed of his prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also of the year 21 of the Martyrs, which was 305 AD, St. Arianos, governor of Encina, was martyred. He was a cruel and unjust governor who persecuted Christianity and slew the Christians. It happened when he ordered to shoot St. Apollonius with arrows. One of the arrows glanced back and struck his eye and destroyed it. That happened before some Christians. And one of them told him, if you take from the blood and apply it to your eye, you would regain your sight. At the beginning, he did not believe. But because of the severe pain 
and the loss of his eye, he took some of the blood of St. Apollonius and smeared it on the eye. He immediately regained his sight. He believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, regretted much all what he had done in tormenting and the saints. And when he arose up, destroyed his idols, and he refrained from torturing any of the believers. When Diocletian heard the report of Arianos, he brought him and asked him why he had forsaken the worship of idols. Arianus began to tell him about the signs and wonders which God was working by the hands of the holy martyr, and how, in spite of the tortures which he had inflicted upon them and cutting of their bodies, they rose up again whole. The emperor became furious because of what he had said and ordered to severely torment him and to cast him into a pit to cover it until he dies. However, the Lord saved him. Diocletian again ordered to place him into a hair sack and to cast him into the sea. So he delivered his pure soul, received the crown of martyrdom. The saint had told his kinsfolk, kinsfolk when, he did, when he bid them farewell that the Lord Jesus Christ told him in a vision of the night that he would take care of his body, return it to his hometown, and they could find it at the shore of Alexandria. The Lord ordered a dolphin to carry the body of the saint, bring and cast it into the shore of Alexandria. His men took his body, brought it to Alexandria, placed it with the bodies of the saints Philemon and Apollonius. Thus he finished his good fight, received the crown of martyrdom. The blessing of his prayers be with us all, and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. On the day also of the year 1827 of the martyrs, which was March 17, 2012 AD, Pope Shenouda III, the 117th Patriarch of Alexandria, departed. He was born under the name of Nazir Gayed, Rufail on August 3rd, 1923 AD, in the Asyut Governorate in the year 1939 AD. He began his service in the church's Sunday school. In 1946, he joined the clerical college, and in 1949 AD, he dedicated himself to service and teaching at the clerical college. In October 1949, he also took over the editor shop, editorship of the Sunday school magazine. And in 1953, he began teaching the monastic school in Halwan. On July 18, 1954, he became a monk at the monastery of the Virgin Mary Isturian in Wadi Natrun Desert under the name of Father Antonius El Suriani. And he lived a solitary life in a cave about seven miles away from the monastery, dedicating his time to meditation and prayer. He was ordained as a priest on Sunday, August 31, 1958, and by Bishop Theophilos, who was the bishop and the head of the monastery at that time. In June 1959 AD, he was chosen by Pope Kirillos VI to be his personal secretary. During his time as a secretary, he composed the Orthodox anointing rites for kings, and subsequently Emperor Haile Selassie was anointed as a Christian king by Pope Kirillos VI. He also prepared and wrote a special memorandum on personal status for Coptic Orthodox Christians, which became known as the Memorandum of Pope Kirillos VI on personal status. On September 30, 1962 AD, he was consecrated as a bishop for education under the name of Bishop Shinuda. He established spiritual meeting for preaching and education in the area of St. Ruiz Monastery in Abbasiyah. In January 1965 AD, he published the first issue of the El Kiraza magazine after the departure of Pope Kirillos VI on March 9, 1971, election were carried out in accordance with Regulation 57. His Grace Bishop Shinoda, the Bishop of Education, 
was one of the three candidates for the papacy uh, on the Sunday, October 31st, 1971 AD. He was selected through the altar lot. And on Sunday, November 14, 1971, he was crowned and enthroned on the papal throne. In January 1991, he was elected as the president of the World Council of Churches for Oriental Orthodox Church Christians for more than one term. On November 8, 1994, he was selected as the deputy president of the Middle East Council of Churches on behalf of the Oriental Orthodox Churches for more than one term. He undertook 104 trips outside Egypt for pastoral, ecumenical purposes to various countries across the continents of the world. His Holiness established new dioceses in Egypt and in lands of immigration. The number of churches in Europe, America, and Australia multiplied from seven churches at the Sea Holiness consecration to more than 450 churches at the time of departure. In 1998 AD, he consecrated the first patriarch of Eritrea, the late Abuna Philobos I. He also consecrated the late patriarch Abuna Antonius I of Eritrea in 2004 AD. He consecrated 117 metropolitans and bishops, as well as ordained 1,001 priests for Cairo, Alexandria, and land of immigration. He performed the rites of the Holy Chrismation, Myron, seven times, including once for the church in Asmara, Eritrea. In 1973, he brought the relics of St. Athanasius the Apostolic to Egypt. During his papacy, certain regulations for ecclesiastical work were issued, including the regulations of the Holy Synod in 1985 AD. He also issued the regulations of the consecrated sisters in 1991 AD. On May 25, 1980, he established the bishopric for youth service, and in 1976, a general bishopric for African affairs was founded. In 1995, a bishopric for evangelism was established. He founded the Institute of Pastoral Care and Education and the Institute of the Holy Bible in 1974. During his blessed time, the papal residence was established in the St. Riways area in Abbasia, which he inaugurated in January 1985 AD. He also established various scientific and cultural centers and institutions during his time, including the Coptic Orthodox Cultural Center in, 19 to, in, in 2008, the Pope Shenouda III Foundation for Organization and Information Technology on November 15, in 2000 AD, and St. Mark Foundation for Coptic History Studies in 1998 also. Also during his time, various Coptic satellite channels were launched and he received a total of nine honorary doctoral degrees from some of the world's leading universities. Despite his numerous and diverse responsibilities, he used to spend three days a week in the monastery. His Holiness profound love for the monastic life, solitude led to its revival. During his time, hundreds of monks and nuns were consecrated. Numerous Coptic monasteries were established, both within and outside Egypt. And he participated in numerous ecumenical agreements, com conferences, meetings, theological dialogues. He managed to protect the church during the di decisions, decisions made by the late President Muhammad Anwar Sadat on September 5, 1981, including the decision to strip him of the title of Peter of Alexandria and Pope of the See of St. Mark. He was also exiled, he was also, he was exiled and placed under house arrest at the papal residency in the St. Bishoy Monastery in Wadi Natron for, four, for 40 months. He returned to his seat in January 1985. He authored approximately 150 books covering a wide range of topics including spirituality, theology, religious belief, others. He composed around 20 spiritual poems, most of which were transformed into spiritual songs in the Coptic Church. 
Pope Shenouda III confronted heresies and deviant teaching that spread during his era. He bore the responsibility of education in the church since he was ordained as a bishop for education in 1962. His Holiness Pope Shenouda III departed on the evening of Saturday, the 8th of Baramhat, 1827, of the martyrs, corresponding to March 17 to 2012 AD. His funeral prayer took place on Tuesday, March 20, 2012, in the presence of numerous representatives of churches from around the world, political figures, and hundreds of thousands of people, both Christians and Muslims, at the Coptic Cathedral in El Abbasiya, Cairo. He was buried in a designated location in St. Bishoy Monastery in accordance with his will. He sat on the patriarchal throne for 40 years, four months, and four days, making him the 17th longest, the seventh longest reigning pope in terms of the duration of his pontificate on the Sea of St. Mark. He lived for 88 years, seven months, and 14 days. May the Lord, may the holy prayers of the thrice blessed memory, His Holiness Pope Shenouda III, be with us all, and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord
Many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you have not seen them and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see your ears, for they hear. May you be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your sins. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our men and all those who have bidden us to remember them in our prayers and supplications that we offer up to you. O oh Lord, our God, those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Psalms to David, alleluia. Maru Joyce 
to the Holy Gospel, a chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. May his blessing be with us. Amen. Pen so open, not open, so tear open, or a tear in his soul, but Christos, if she remains not it on, be on of shiny, be of up and not a pay shiny, and in a tear, I mean, looks as if From the Psalms of our teacher David, the prophet and king, may his blessing be with us. Amen. To you, O oh Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O oh my God, I have trusted in you. Let me not be confounded. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your path. Let them exalt. Him in the church of his people and praise him in the seat of the elders, for he has made his family like of sheep that the upright shall see and rejoice. The Lord has sworn and will have no regret, for you are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand, our saintly father, the patriarch. Pope of Atawadros the second, and his partners in the apostolic service, our father, the Bishop of Asuriel, and our father, the Bishop of David. May the Lord keep your life. Uh, comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord God and Savior and the King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom be glory forever. Amen. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys 
and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is there, your heart will be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap, nor gather into bonds, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin, and yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things, the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. مزامير يا بينا داود النبي والملك بركات على جميعنا إليك يا رب أرفع نفسي يا إلهي عليك توكلت فلا تدعني أخزى طرقك يا رب عرفني سبلك علمني دربني في حقك وعلمني الليل يا وليرفعوا في كنيسة شعبي وليباركوا على منابر الشيوخ لأنه جعل أبوة مثل الخراف يبصر المستقيمون ويفرحون أقسم الرب ولن يندم أنك أنت والكان للأبد على طقس ملكي صداق الرب عن يمينك يا بان الطاهر الباب البطريرك الأنباء والدروس الثاني وشريكك في الخدمة الرسولية الرسولي أبينا الأسقف المكرم الأنباء السريال وشريكك في الخدمة الرسولية أبينا الأسقف المكرم الأنبى ديفيد الرب يحفظ لنا حياتك
ذاتي باسم رب القوات ربنا وإلهنا ومخلصنا وملكنا كلنا يسوع المسيح ابن الله الحي الذي له المجد الدائم للأبد أمين بارك يا رب فصل من الإنجيل لما علمنا ما رمت الإنجيل بشير بركات على جميعنا لا تكنز لكم كنوزا على الأرض حيث يفسد السوس ويصدى وحيث ينقب السارقون ويسرقون بل اكنزوا لكم كنوزا في السماء حيث لا يفسد سوس ولا صدى وحيث لا ينقب السارقون ولا يسرقون لأنه حيث يكون كنزك هناك يكون قلبك أيضا سراج الجسد والعين فإن كانت عينك بسيطة فجسدك كله يكون نيرا وإن كانت عينك شريرة فجسدك كله يكون مظلما فإن كان النور الذي فيك ظلاما فالظلام كم يكون لا يقدر أحد أن يخدم سيدين لأنه إما أن يبغض الواحد ويحب الآخر أو يلازم الواحد ويحتكر الآخر لا تقدرون أن تخدموا الله والمال لذلك أقول لكم لا تهتموا لحياتكم بما تأكلون وما تشربون ولا لأجسادكم بما تلبسون ليست الحياة أفضل من الطعام والجسد أفضل من اللباس انظروا إلى طيور السماء إنها لا تزرع ولا تحصد ولا تجمع إلى مخازن وأبوكم السماوي يقوتها لستم أنتم بالحري أفضل منها ومن منكم إذا اهتم يقدر أن يزيد على قامة ذراع واحدة ولماذا اهتمون باللباس تأملوا زنابق الحقل كيف تنمو ولا تتعب ولا تغزيل ولكن يقول لكم إن ولا سليمان في كل مجده كان يلبس كواحدة منها فإن كان عشب الحقل الذي يوجد اليوم يطرح غدا في التنور يلبس الله كذا أفليس بالحري جدا يلبسكم أنتم يا قليل الإيمان فلا تهتموا قائلين ماذا نأكل أو ماذا نشرب أو ماذا نلبس فإن هذه كلها فإن هذه كلها تطلبها الأمام لأن أباكم السماوي يعلم أنكم تحتاجون إلى هذه كلها لكن اطلبوا أولا ملكوت الله وبره وهذه كلها تزاد لكم In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is a very joyful day with the ordination of Dr. Samah, who was ordained deacon yesterday by the name of Deacon Joseph. So I will refer to him as Deacon Joseph. And after the ordination today, he will have a new name, not Joseph. So I told him to enjoy the name Joseph for one day, yesterday. I will tell you more about the ordination at the time. We are very delighted and very joyful to have with us His Grace Bishop Soria, whom I have known for 33 years since I joined the Monastery of Amba Bishoy. And ever since that time until now, we have been together in various places and various ministries. He is a blessing to be with us today and on your behalf, I want to thank His Grace for giving us the blessing today and bless the ordination of Deacon Joseph. 
Today also is the commemoration of our beloved thrice blessed memory, His Holiness Pope Shenouda III, who we all love, and we have all grown at his feet, learning from his valuable teaching and from the numerous books whom His Holiness has written. May his prayers be with us all. Amen. Uh, his Grace Bishop Suriel will say uh, a word in English for our spiritual benefit. And I will ask Father Dawood Lamai to also say a brief word in Arabic. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. It's a great joy and a great blessing to celebrate with you today the ordination of Deacon Joseph, and uh, I congratulate His Grace Bishop David on this new ordination. May it be a source of joy and blessing for all of the diocese. And always to see this diocese to continue to grow and to flourish under the wise leadership of His Grace Bishop David. And as His Grace mentioned that we have a, a long blessed history together since 1991 when we first met at St. Bishoy Monastery. But in particular, the time that we spent together he went back to Canada and then came back in 1992 um, and was then tonsured as a monk. And we spent about four years together at the papal residence at St. Bishoy Monastery under the guidance of both the abbot of the monastery of blessed memory, Bishop Sarabamon, and then also under Pope Shenouda III of blessed memory. And so both of us have a lot of joyful days that we spent together with Pope Shenouda III. Um, and we certainly miss him very much. And it is wonderful that we commemorate his 12th anniversary of, anniversary of his departure today. This morning's Gospel from St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 19 to 33, brings us to the end of the first week of the great 55-day fast of Lent. After the Lord Jesus Christ chose his 12 disciples, he began to explain his new law for the first time from the top of the mountain. And it is the law that occupied three chapters in the Gospel of St. Matthew. Today's Gospel, which is part of this Sermon on the Mount, explains the Savior's message to believers not to lay up treasures on earth, but in heaven. He also directs their vision to the difficulty between serving God and mammon, or riches. The Lord also urges the people not to give great importance to the needs of earthly life, but that their primary concern should be directed towards the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Treasures in heaven. When the Lord said, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, he meant, do not place your total attention on earthly things and forget the more important heavenly treasures. Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust, or rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. 
Earthly treasures may be lost through misfortune, burglary, overspending, sickness, gambling, or poor finance management, or many other reasons. Gambling in particular, I remember a story many years ago of a young man who had been going through this problem of gambling and he went into one of these gambling places, he told me, on a Friday evening. And it's always dim with very low lights, no clocks on the walls, you cannot tell the time. He thought he was in there for just a couple of hours, when in fact, he came out of there on Monday morning. Imagine, all this time, and he was not aware and lost all the money that he had. Heavenly treasures are eternal and cannot be destroyed. We can lay up for ourselves heavenly treasures by being charitable to the needy and by leading a life which is pleasing to God. The Lord's commandment to the rich young man supports this. He said, if you want to be perfect, Go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. But this rich young man had a lot of wealth and went away sadly, being attached to this worldly life and to his treasures, and was not able to achieve what the Lord said. The Lord shows that the treasures of heaven do not perish when he said to his disciples, sell what you have and give alms, provide yourselves money bags which do not grow old. A treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches nor moth destroys. <clears throat> and certainly, Saint Abraham, the Bishop of Fayum at the beginning of the 20th century, is an, a great example of this, how he saw the importance of being charitable to the needy and to the poor and distributed a lot of the wealth of the diocese to assist the poor, and he was canonized as a saint during the time of Pope Shenouda III. What is meant then by all of this? Does the Lord literally want us to go and sell all that we have and give it all to the poor? It does not require this of all people, but some choose to do so and give all their lives to Christ through monasticism, for example. Saint Anthony the Great, the father of monasticism as he is known, was a marvelous example of this when he heard the verse one Sunday morning when he was in church and the church was full of faithful. And it said, if you wish to live this righteous life, go and sell all of your goods, carry your cross and come and follow me. And he took this as a personal message. Although the church was full of people, but he took this as a divine instruction for himself. And he sold all of the 300 acres of the most fertile land in Egypt that his parents had left him, sent his sister to a house of virgins, and went out to be a trailblazer to go out into the desert and begin living alone with God. And we come to church regularly every week and we hear so many lessons, so many readings from the scriptures, so many important advice in sermons. But what do we do with all of what we hear? Do we take it to heart? Do we go and we act upon it? Or once we leave the door of the church, nothing changes in our life. 
but this was not the case with St. Anthony. Now we have these digital devices and radios, but if you go back maybe 30 years, there was not many of these digital radios, for example. There were these analog radios, and there was a, a dial that you would turn to be able to get roughly where the station was that you wanted to listen to. But next to that dial was another one, which was called the fine-tuning dial. And you would turn this one very carefully so that you could get the most clearest sound coming out of that radio and from the station you were listening to. And I think that St. Anthony certainly had this fine tuning dial within his spirit that he was attuned to hearing God's voice, God's voice and acting upon it very quickly. A great example indeed. So what the Lord means here is that those who have should share with those who do not have to be rich in good works. The Lord then began to speak about the difficulty in combining between two opposites, the worship of God and the worship of mammon or riches. And he said, no one can serve two masters. What is meant here is that you cannot serve two masters who are opposite to each other and have different wills. But if they are united in will, then it is possible. So we must not worship riches, but try to use it for the service of God and for the good of people. We must not become slaves to our materialistic possessions, but use them in a correct way to help others and for building the kingdom of God. St. James says, do, not, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. What the apostle is trying to tell us here is not to be so attached to the world, but to try to free ourselves from this temporary attachment and look up to the permanent attachment with God in his kingdom. And this reminds me of a monastic story of one of the great fathers of the church, Saint Macarius of Alexandria. And it says in his life story that one day he stood up to pray and to contemplate on heaven and what heaven would be like. <coughs> and he was able to stay in this state for three whole days and three whole nights, not thinking about any earthly matters, not thinking about the needs of the body or food or anything like this until Satan, Satan got jealous of him and he burned the, fat, the mat that was under his feet and only then did his thoughts come back down to earth to get some water to put out the fire. But this is a very lofty level, a high level of spirituality that we should at least try to strive towards how to contemplate on things that are above. St. John also says, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world, and the world is passing away and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Very beautiful words 
that we find in the first epistle of St. John, chapter 2, verses 15 to 17. So let us all, my dear brethren, work hard not to be attached to the world and to do the will of God so that we may live forever with him and let us use the world for our spiritual benefit, but we must not let the world use us. And what of seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness? At the end of the gospel passage that was read this morning, the Lord says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The Lord wants to make this our priority in life, and he will grant us our other earthly needs, which he already knows. This was the case with King Solomon, who only asked for wisdom from God to serve his people, and so God gave him everything. Because you have asked this thing and have not asked long life for yourself, nor have asked riches for yourself, nor have asked the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern justice, behold, I have done according to your words. See, I have given you a wise and understanding heart so that there has not been anyone like you before you, nor shall any like you arise after you. And I have also given you what you have not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be anyone like you among the kings all your days, mentioned in 1 Kings chapter 3, verses 11 to 13. So let us then, my dear brethren, learn from King Solomon and seek heavenly gifts which will not perish, and God indeed will provide everything else. And glory be to God forever. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> كل سنة وانتم طيبين نشكر ربنا على اليوم الجميل ده من ست شهور رحت لسيدنا أمبا ديفيد وطلبت منه إيد سامح يعني طلبت أنه سامح بيخدم معنا بقاله خمس سنين في الكرازة وسيدنا مشجع جدا للكرازة أمبا ديفيد الحقيقة سامح لنا يبقى في فصول كرازة في الإبرشية ومن ساعتها في فريق بيخدم معنا في تركيا كان أساسه سامح وبعدين سافرت مع تركيا في شهر نوفمبر تأكدت يعني أنه هو قلبه في الكرازة وبعدين رجعت لأبونا يعقوب وأبونا يوحنا خدت بركتهم بعد سيدنا وعاوز أقول لكم خدمة الكرازة مفرحة جدا ودي وصية الكتاب المقدس أن احنا كلنا ننشغل بخلاص العالم النهاردة لما ربنا يسوع بيقول اطلبوا أولا ملكوت الله وبره أحد معاني الملكوت أن الملكوت يمتد في العالم كله يعني العالم اللي حوالينا في أمريكا وبر أمريكا ما يعرفوش المسيح وبيعيشوا حياتهم وتخلص حياتهم بسبب أن احنا عادين سكتين حياتهم بتخلص بجهل في ضلمة والمسيح لو المجد يتكلم كتير عن أنتو نور العالم فليوضع نوركم قدام الناس إذا دعوة الكرازة ما هيش خاصة بفئة معينة كل مسيحي لازم ينشغل بخلاص اللي حواليه والنهاردة كنيسة الضطية بنعمة ربنا وجود القدسين اللي فيها وتعب البابا شنودة وتعب البابا تودرس ربنا يخلوه لنا الحقيقة كنيسة النهاردة فعلا بقت على المنارة لما بيقول خلي الايه فخليها على المنارة عمالة تعلى والعالم بقى يبص على كنيستنا كنيسة المتمسكة Apostolic Church Loyal to the teaching of the Bible قدمت شهداء بلا عدد ولسه بتقدم فالعالم تدي يدور على المسيحية الأصلية دي 
وبلاد كتيرة قوي مستنية ولما تعرف ان احنا يعني ارثوذكس ايجيبشن كوبتك ارثوذكس الحقيقة they look up to us يعني وعاوزين يتعلموا بالظبط المسيحية والبلاد اللي هيخدم فيها سامح الحقيقة بلاد لأول مرة يمكن يعتبر أول كاهن قبطي على المنطقة اللي خدم فيها بولس الرسول واللي خدم فيها القديس يوحنا الحبيب اللي فيها غلطية وفيها أفسس وفيها سامرنا وفيها أزمير وفيها كولوسي وكل البلاد دي هتبقى هي دي خدمته يعني والبلاد دي تقلصت فيها المسيحية جدا يعني البلاد دي كل المسيحيين اللي فيها أقل من نص في المية بعد ما كانت كرسي من الكراسي الرسولية تدرسوا التاريخ القرن الأول كان في كراسي رسولية منهم كنيسة اسكندرية أورشليم أنطاكيا القسطنطينية روما الحياة القسطنطينية دي تقلصت فيعني كلنا نصلي لسامح وللفريق الحلو اللي تحت رعاية سيدنا أنبا ديفيد أنه يعني يبقى سبب رجوع المسيحية للبلاد اللي يعني تراجعت عن الإيمان وأصبحوا لا يعرفون يمينهم من شمال كل واحد بيحب ربنا بيبقى نفسه العالم كله يحب ربنا زيه هتمنى كلكم تفكروا في الكرازة ويبقى وإحنا بنصلي أبانا الذي نقول ليأتي ملكوتك نفكر في الكرازة ليأتي ملكوتك يعني ينتشر ملكوتك يعم العالم كله ويبقى الناس كلها بتقول ربنا يسوع زينا كده وتسجد لإلهنا الصالح له كل مجد وكرامة إلى الأبد Let's go to the Father, the Father, the Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only. Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. For the peace of the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Lord have mercy. This which exists from one end of the world to the other, all peoples and all flocks bless. The heavenly peace send down unto all our hearts, even the peace of this life graciously grant to us. 
the king, the leader, the army, the rulers, the counselors, the multitude, our neighbors, our coming in and our coming out. Adorn them with all peace, O King of Peace. Grant us your peace, for you have given us all things. Acquire us to yourself, O God, our Savior, for we know none other but you, your holy name we utter. May our souls live by your Holy Spirit, and let not the death of sins have dominion over us. We, your servant, nor over all your people. Lord, have mercy. Again, let us ask God the Ban to the Father, for Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, our honor, patriarch of Abba Tawadros the second, and his part in the apostolic liturgy, our holy father, the bishop and Basuriel, and our holy father, the bishop, and the David. Pray for our high priest, Pope Abba Tadro II, and Pope and Patriarch, and Archbishop of the great city of Alexandria, and his partners in this in the Holy Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Bishop of Suriel, and our Father, the Bishop of David, and for our Orthodox Bishops. Lord, have mercy. Them secure for us for many years and peaceful times, fulfilling that holy worship priesthood with which you have entrusted them for yourself according to your holy and blessed will, rightly handling the word of truth, shepherding. Your people in purity and righteousness, and all the Orthodox bishops, he commands priests and deacons, and all the fullness of your one only, holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, grant them and us peace and safety in every place. Their prayer, which is there, offer on our behalf. And on behalf of all your people. As well as ours on their behalf. Receive them upon your holy rational altar in heaven as a sweet savor of innocence. All their enemies, visible and invisible, trembling and humiliated under their feet speedily. As for them, keep them in peace and righteousness in your holy chair. Lord, have mercy. Pray for this holy church and for our assemblies. Lord have mercy. Grant
command that they be unto us without obstacle or hindrance that we may hold them according to your only and blessed will, houses of prayers, houses of purity, houses of blessing, grant to us, O Lord, and to all your servants who shall come after us forever, the wish provide us not let proof from the world, Satan and all his evil powers trample and humiliate and earth he speedily. The offenses and the instigators abolish me all dissensions of corrupt heresies. Seize the enemies of your holy church, O Lord, as at all times. Now also humiliate, sip to advance, show them their weakness speedily. Bring to another end their intrigues, their madness, their weakness, and their slander, which they commit against us, O Lord. Bring them all to no avail and disperse their counsel, O disperse the counsel of begotten, not created, the one essence of the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was the incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became men. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended to the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again as glory to judge the living and the dead, who is even the child of the land. Yes, to believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who receives the Father, who with the Father, the Son, is worshiped and glorified, who is woke by the prophets, and who will only count as the solid church. We confess and baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and life of the coming which entered into the world through the envy of the devil, you have destroyed by the life-giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace in which the hosts of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill to all men. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic greetings. Lord, have A 
according to your good will, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, O God, all hypocrisy, all craftiness, and the remembrance of wise berry that and make us over the our master to greet one another with a holy kiss that without casting us into condemnation may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus our In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Furudun tutulu amin. Samalish murratan yamalim. Shrah alqa. The ordination of the priest takes place after the prayer of reconciliation. We just prayed the prayer of reconciliation and that is because the ministry of the priest as St. Paul mentions now then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us we implore you on Christ's behalf be reconciled to God إذا نسحى كسفراء عن المسيح كأن الله يعز بنا يعني من خلال الأباء الكهنة نطلب عن المسيح تصالحه مع الله Be reconciled to God This is the ministry of the priest is to proclaim on behalf of Christ be reconciled to God. God wants to reconcile us with himself. After the sin of Adam, there was no peace between heaven and earth, and Christ came to reconcile humanity with God. And the priests, main ministry is to announce the good news to the people saying to each and every one of us God loves you personally God loves you and he wants to reconcile us with God and today, today with the ordination of Deacon Joseph into priesthood this is the deepest meaning of these words of St. Paul, be reconciled to God, because all of us here in the church are believers. We have already accepted Christ and we were baptized. But how many billions of people in the world that are yet to know Christ and be reconciled with him? And this can only be achieved through the work of mission and evangelism. Mission and evangelism. We are very thankful to God that we witness the era in which the Coptic Orthodox Church has spread throughout the entire world. Thanks be to God and to the work of his Holiness Pope Kirillus started to have the Coptic people that 
emigrated from Egypt to other parts, who established the first churches in the world, as we read today in the Synexarium. At the beginning of the papacy of His Holiness Pope Shenouda, there were only seven, seven churches. So Pope Kirillus really started such ministry. But the number of churches grew to, also according to the Synexarium, to 450 churches during the papacy of His Holiness Pope Shenouda. And now still are growing many more. So I remember I went to Los Angeles on a trip with His Holiness Pope Shenouda, and one of the youth said, stood up and said, Your Holiness, we feel like the church, the Coptic Orthodox Church, is like a treasure, but only hidden from everyone. And they expressed their wish to evangelize, to bring people to Christ, to know Orthodoxy and the Coptic Orthodox Church. And we can see this, this was about 20 years ago. And we see that now the Coptic Church has spread all over the world, but not only to provide pastoral services for her children, but also to evangelize. And we see bishops are being ordained on countries. You know, His Holiness Pope Theodorus just enthroned the bishop on four countries in Africa, Bishop Joseph. And much more still needs to be done. As Abuna Dawood was saying today, when we pray and say, Thy kingdom come, لتكن مشيئتك دي ليأتي ملكوتك دي معناها إيه؟ إيه ملكوتك يعني؟ ما هو ملكوت ربنا لها ثلاث معاني ملكوت ربنا في His kingdom inside each and every one of us His kingdom on earth and His heavenly kingdom When we say thy kingdom comes it means one of the three meanings is His kingdom on earth to spread and everyone to get to know Christ and his love for mankind and his salvation and redemption on the cross. How can this happen? Through each and every one of us. Yes, we have consecrated servants like Deacon uh, Joseph who dedicate their life for mission and evangelism, but each one of you you should evangelize to your neighbors, to your colleagues, to your fellow workers, because you are the light of the world. When Christ said you are the light of the world, he did not say it to the bishops or to the priests. He said it to the people. You are the light of the world. He is the light of the world, and we bring his light to others through our faithfulness through living the commandments of God wherever we are. The Diocese of New York and New England supports very much mission and evangelism. I always say there is no greater mission than to help someone to come to Christ. Christ died on the cross for everybody, for the whole world. He already did his part, and now it's up to us to bring the good news to others, to bring the good news to others. It's up to us, really. And therefore, do not let anything take away the joy of this day from you. The only one who is not happy today, 
جاس هو ها فيش غيره هو المحروق burning mean the devil the evil one he is the only one because his work is against Christ so he is the only one who should be upset today but let us all rejoice together for this blessed ordination and with all our hearts support this ministry of Deacon Joseph and we all lift up our hearts to God to bless him bless his new ministry and as you will hear in the ordination rites, we ask God to bless you and bless others through you look at Rabbana yubarakak ويبارك بك اللي هو هيخدمهم As I told you and I want to confirm that his main ministry will be mission and evangelism and by the way Abuna Anastasi Abuna Anastasi St. Anthony when I asked him to come and he used to, طبعاً, he is a New Yorker, of course, but he went to become a monk in the monastery of St. Anthony in California, and he used to serve with His Eminence Metropolitan Serapion. I asked His Eminence if he can come and serve with us, and now he is responsible for the Department of Youth and Mission and Evangelism. This is his ministry, Youth and mission and evangelism. So, we are not only, or Deacon Joseph is not only going to serve outside of the United States, where he started many years ago, but also in the United States, we already started mission here because we realize how many are waiting to know about Christ, are, are eager to know about the good news of Christ. We are not selfish. We are not going to keep the good news for ourselves only. We want other to others to enjoy the love of Jesus just as we enjoy His love. Whenever He is not in his ministry outside or here or to cover any priests that may be on vacation or uh, in sickness, whatever. This will be his default church to pray in. But he has no direct responsibilities in the church. He will, he will no longer be responsible for Sunday school he will be no longer a uh, board member in the church because he cannot do all that. He has other responsibilities now. As far as visitation, by all means, if you would like to the new Abuna to come and visit you, if you want to confess, of course, you still can confess, but um, he is ordained mainly on mission and evangelism. Okay, I just wanted to make this very clear. And I already made it clear before, but I just need, wanted it to be clearer. We welcome uh, all his colleagues from IBM, uh, whether current or before. And uh, I'm sure that it's your first time to attend a Coptic Orthodox priest ordination. Am I right? Okay. That's why I'm going to explain it. I'm sure many others... How many of you have never attended a, an ordination live in, in the church? Please raise your hand. So this, because this is the first 
ordination to be held in this church, right? Buna Taban Ya'ub, he was ordained when he came. Buna Yohanna, he was ordained in Egypt. Where Buna Anthony was ordained in Queens. Buna Ya'ub, it's the first time, but not the last time. Ya Rab, al-hasad kathir, wal-fa'la qalilun. So let me tell you the steps of ordination. First step, so the, the first step is the new priest has what we call the pledge of commitment of the new priest, which means one of the priests, the senior priest, will read parts and the, then he will repeat after him. So he is making a vow now before God, before the clergy and before the people to be faithful in his ministry. So listen to it carefully. It will appear on the screens. After that, we'll start the prayer for the priest starting with the prayer of thanksgiving and special prayers for the priests while he is kneeling in front of the sanctuary asking for the Holy Spirit to descend and give him a special grace for this new ministry. So we should all be busy lifting up our hearts and asking God, asking the Holy Spirit to give him this special grace from heaven. And at the end of the prayer, the bishop lays his hand, it's called the laying of the hands, and then we pronounce his new name. As I told you, he will have a new name that you will hear for the first time. He doesn't know the new name yet. Okay? Like a newborn baby, he doesn't know his name until he's born. So he will have a new name, not Joseph, not Sam. It will be a name that will reflect his new ministry. And then he will put on his uh, liturgical white vestments. Um, after that, there is a commandment at the end that the priest can share and read it. And at the end, the bishop takes him by his hand and enters the sanctuary. And he tells him, enter into the joy of your master. After that, he will um, participate in the prayer of the liturgy. We'll continue the prayer. And he will pray for the first time part of the liturgy as a priest. The commemoration of the saints. And at the end, he will repeat after the bishop what we call the confession. The confession is the faith, what we believe on what's on the altar, the true body and the true and precious blood of our Lord shed on the cross for our salvation. So the bishop, as if he is delivering to him the faith of the church, what is it that we are praying now on? It's the true body and the true blood which the Lord took from St. Mary. And then the bishop, after taking the Holy Communion, will lay his hands again on him and say, receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of priesthood, after the bishop takes the Holy Communion. And then the deacons will chant axios three times. Uh, at the end, he will wash the uh, uh, liturgical uh, vessels that have been used like a deacon. Why? Because حاجة اسمها تكوس التواضع تكوس الاتضاع في الكنيسة في حاجات كتيرة قوي 
حطها الكنيسة اسمها تقوس الاتضاع rights of humility like for example when the highest ranking clergy on good thursday washes the feet of the people why the highest rank the church is trying to say you are the highest rank but you are not above you are actually below you are washing their feet this is where you are right to cause al ittida the church is reminding him now you are a priest but still the bishop is your father do not be exalted don't exalt yourself حاجات جميله ما الواحد ياخد باله منها at the end he will uh, go around in a procession where you can congratulate him and uh, we will rejoice with him and at the end he will distribute the ologia lukmat al barak alaykum wa ba'da kida haysafru he was ordained he will be ordained today yesterday we ordained father abraham also as a general priest who is assisting me uh, doing accounting and other ministries and he was ordained in the church of Astoria because this is his default church as well so although he has a ministry with me as my assist personal assistant but uh, whenever he is not with me he will be praying at Astoria just as uh, Deacon Joseph will be here whenever he is not in his ministry I like to always ordain two by two because the Lord Jesus said he sent them two by two. They are going to spend 30 days in the monastery of Amba Bishoy in Egypt to receive the rites of the church. And they will come 10 days early because they are supposed to spend 40 days. They are going to come 10 days early to spend the last 10 days in our new monastery of St. Mary and Pope Carolus here in New York. Because now we have a monastery, but of course it's not yet ready to send the new priest there. But at least 10 last days they will spend here. And the reception will be here, God willing, on Friday, April 26. So mark in your calendars, this will be the last Friday of Lent. على فكرة Lent ده بيجري كده. يعني هتلاقوني من موضوع انكم تفتحوا بقول لكم ويلكم ابونا هتعرفوا اسمه ايه. They will be traveling to Egypt tomorrow, God willing, and they will return after about 30 days, and the reception will be here April 26, God willing. Let us all rejoice and give thanks to God for this blessed ordination and pray for deacons, uh, Deacon uh, Joseph's new ministry to be blessed and fruitful. Glory be to God forever. Amen. We will begin with the Pledge of Commitment read by... Father Ya'oub will uh, start reading and uh, Deacon Joseph will repeat after. I, the unworthy, I, the unworthy, who is called for the grace of the priesthood, who is called for the grace of the priesthood on the altar of the one holy on the altar of the one holy catholic and apostolic catholic and apostolic orthodox church of god orthodox church of god in the christ loving diocese in the christ loving diocese of new york and new england of new york and new england i pledge before god i pledge before god the lord of lords 
the Lord of Lords, and the Shepherd of the Shepherds, and the Shepherd of the Shepherds, and before His angels, and before His angels, and saints, and saints, and before my Father, and before my Father, His Grace Bishop David, His Grace Bishop David, and before my Father, and before my Father, His Grace Bishop Suriel, His Grace Bishop Suriel, and before all the clergy and before all the clergy and all the people and all the people to be steadfast to be steadfast in the holy orthodox faith in the holy orthodox faith until the last breath until the last breath to respect the canons of the holy church to respect the canons of the holy church and to keep all her traditions and to keep all her traditions rights rights religious customs Re religious customs and teachings and teachings i will make every effort i will make every effort to teach the people to the true faith to teach the people the true faith and lead them in a holy and righteous life and lead them in a holy and righteous life and to be an example and to be an example for them in every good deed for them in every good deed i pledge to love the flock i pledge to love the flock and to deal with them and to deal with them in compassion and wisdom in compassion and wisdom i pledge to give myself i pledge to give myself for all the people for all the people in pastoral care in pastoral care and being concerned for them and being concerned for them in every respect in every respect to the very last of my ability to the very last of my ability i will search for the lost i will search for the lost and try to return them and try to return them i will gather the scattered flock of god i will gather the scattered flock of god i will not ignore the incapacitated i will not ignore the incapacitated and re the rejected the rejected or those who have no one to remember them or those who have no one to remember them i will be patient i will be patient and long suffering and long suffering in dealing with all the people in dealing with all the people and will not show partiality and will not show partiality to a chosen group to a chosen group but be equally concerned for all but be equally concerned for all i pledge to put the lord christ i pledge to put the lord christ and his church and his church before everything else before everything else i will stay away from the love of money i will stay away from the love of money and loving the beggar portion and loving the bigger portion i will not boast over the people i will not boast over the people nor will ever neglect them nor will ever neglect them or overburden them or overburden them i will not order them i will not order them against the commandments of the lord against the commandments of the lord and will never reject the repentant and will never reject the repentant when he returns to the church when he returns to the church but i will serve them all but i will serve all of them i pledge to submit to the hierarchy of the priesthood i pledge to submit to the hierarchy of the priesthood represented in person of his holiness pope of alexandria represented in person of his holiness of the pope of alexandria and the patriarch of the see of saint mark and the patriarch of the see of saint mark and his grace the bishop of the diocese of new york and new england and his grace the bishop of the diocese of new york and new england his grace bishop david his grace bishop david along with the respect and honor along with the respect and honor to his grace bishop suriel to his grace bishop suriel and all the metropolitan bishops of the church and all the metropolitans and bishops of the church i ask the lord to grant me strength i ask the lord to grant me strength through your prayers through your prayers so that i may fulfill the duties so that i may fulfill the duties of this great office of this great office of this honorable priesthood of this honorable priesthood with honesty and integrity with honesty and integrity pray for me my fathers pray for me my fathers and my brothers and my brothers the saints the saints imitania for all of you imitania
make us all worthy to pray thankfully and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thy kingdom, power, and glory forever. Amen. In meritus tos isos ben joys. Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ, for He has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto Himself, bared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Let us also ask Him, the Almighty Lord and God, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. O Master, Lord God, the one, the Creator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, held us, guarded us, accepted us unto yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Hey, that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept supplications and the prayer of his saints, for which is good on our behalf at all, all time, and to keep the life and standing of our honor Father, the Archive, Archipriest, Pope of Ottawa, the second, and his partner, our Bishop of Suriel, and our Bishop of David, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, that's complete this holy day and all the days of our life. In all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, and the rising up of enemies hidden will manifest. Take them away from us and from all your people, and from this deacon and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy.
history to know the minds of men and examine hearts and reins. Hear us according to the multitude of your mercies and cleanse us from every department of body and spirit. Take away our sins like a cloud and our iniquities like darkness. Fill us with your power and the grace of your only Son and the working of your most holy spirit. Make us sufficient that we may be ministers of your new covenant so that we may be able as befits your holy name to stand before you to perform the priestly ministry for your divine mysteries and do not abandon us to participate in the sins of others but rather wipe out our own and grant to us the Lord that we may do nothing wrong through error but give us knowledge to choose those who are worthy and to present them to you and accept as a presbyter and make perfect this your servant who is here present and awaits your heavenly gift for you are kind and very merciful toward all who call upon you and strong is your power and that of your only son and of your most holy spirit both now and forever unto ages of all ages amen <laughs> of our Lord Jesus Christ who supplied our deficiencies through the beneficence of God the Father and the Holy Spirit shall come upon your servant Joseph Deacon Joseph who has who has approached the altar in the fear of trembling and humility and lifting the eyes of, of his heart to the heaven to you who are in your in heaven, awaiting from it your heavenly gift, so that he might pass from the rank of the deaconate to the rank of the presbyterate in the church of the altar of the uh, diocese of New England and uh, New York and New England. Pray all of you that the gift of his Holy Spirit might one come upon him. Oh. Yes, Lord, make your servant worthy of the calling of the priesthood so that he may deserve through your kindness as befits your holy name to labor and serve in the temple of your glory and find mercy before you for you are a merciful and compassionate god and to you is due glory honor and dominion and to the son and to the holy spirit now and forever and to the age of all the ages amen <laughs> Master, Lord God Almighty, who created all things by your co-eternal word, exercising providence over the universe through him also, according to your will, which looks at all times on your holy church and makes it increase and in those who preside in it, making them multiply and giving them strength to labor in word and deed. Look upon your servant who has been made a presbyter by the vote and judgment of those who have brought him into the midst, fill him with, with your Holy Spirit and grace and counsel, fearing you so that he might help and guide your people with a pure heart just as you look <coughs> over your people whom you chose and commanded your servant Moses to choose for himself presbyters whom you ordain by an uncreated Holy Spirit which proceeds from you. <clears throat> yes, Lord, hear us as we beseech you and preserve in us also the Holy Spirit of your grace which is uncreated. Grant him the spirit of your wisdom 
so that filled with the words of healing and instructive speech he might teach your people in meekness and serve you in purity with a clean mind and a willing soul that he might perform the functions of the priesthood over your people those who will approach him that he might renew them through the regeneration of baptism as for me cleanse me from all my sins the sins of others and free me from those which are my own through the mediation of your only begotten son our lord and our god and our savior jesus christ <laughs> Look upon us, O Lord, and on your ministry, and cleanse us from every stain, while you give grace from heaven to this your servant, so that he may deserve by your kindness blamelessly to be occupied in this ministry to which you have called him, and find your mercy with all who through the ages have pleased you. For you are a God who wills mercy and kindness, and from all is due glory honor and adoration to you and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever unto the ages of all ages. Amen. We call you in the Holy Church of God. Amen. Praise for the holy altar which has been named for the Orthodox in the Christ loving Diocese of New York and New England for mission and evangelism in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Blessed be God the Father, the Bantokra. begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, now, Mark, Christ, on Orthodox, be a Barshay at New York, when New England, Lila Amal Al Kirazi, مبارك الروح القدس المعزي سلاما وبني بيعة الله المقدس آمين We give thanks to you, Almighty Lord, and we praise and glorify your holy name because you have deigned to us to do with us and poured out your gift on your servants. Again, we ask and beseech you, O Lord, hear us according to the multitude of your mercies and may this ordination to the press be pleasing to you, which has been performed on this your servant, Mark, through the coming of your most holy spirit to the calling add also the election the sanctity the grace of your goodness and choose us and him for good and grant to him that he may labor for you in the talent which he has received so that with all who have done your will he may receive the reward of faithful and wise steward at the second coming from heaven of our Lord, our God, and our Savior, Jesus Christ, with whom the glory, honor, and dominion are due to you with the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen.
So he will know his responsibilities. Now 
know th this, O oh blessed Son. May God support you in what he has called you to and grant you success as he did for the righteous. Our Master Jesus Christ, to whom it the glory has chosen you to serve him and counted you among his priests, elevating you from the deaconship to the priesthood and entrusting you with the life-giving mysteries, do according to all of these commandments and you shall gain the forgiveness of sins. Know the extent of this grace which granted and the perfect gift that you have received. From now on you are worthy to address the Lord as an intercessor in his holy place, the place of the forgiveness of sins. For the people, work not for the food which perishes, but for the food that remains forever. Do not fall short in acquiring the spiritual virtues as long as the spirit is in the body, that you may grow in good deeds. May the lamp of your soul be enlightened so that you will be a good example in speech, in conduct, and by good works, in great and little matters, both public and private. Flee from the love of money, which is the origin of all evil works. Be aware of gluttony and drunkenness, for both darken enlightened mind. Stay free of envy, divisions, resistance, hard-heartedness, mockery, pride. Also, stay free of gossiping, malice, favoritism, hypocrisy. Do not be double-faced, nor covetous, for it is written that the priest must be blameless. Do not discipline by hand, but through the love of God. Love everyone with all your heart and you, all your soul. Be adorned with righteousness, mercy, purity, meekness, contentment, humility, patience, endurance, and meekness. Be steadfast in the Orthodox faith of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the foundation of our faith and through whom Christians are saved. Enlighten yourself by reading and learning with diligence all the rites of the church. Treat God's people with compassion and serve them with skillfulness. Take the path following these guides that you may reach the places of the righteous ones and be saved from suffering and wrath. I command you to the greatest and most important commandment, love. It is the foundation of Christianity. You are to love all from your heart with a clear conscience. Be alert and cautious when distributing the life-giving mysteries of the Lord to make certain it is done according to the church rules and the commandments of the apostles. Do so, do so earnestly and eagerly with every conceivable effort. Be sure to know that the cherubim and the seraphim are standing in fear and trembling. Be aware of the gravity of the sacrifice in your hands. It is Christ Emmanuel who gave himself up for you. Know with no doubt that you are breaking his body. You are holding in your hands the one whom Simeon the priest held in honor and glory. And that this cup is truly his blood shed for our sins by which he saved all of the captives from Hades. This blood came forth to us from the true vine, which is his divine side, after he commanded his spirit in the cross. Truly this sacrament is a great mystery. This is the holy body and the precious blood by which all creation is saved. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world and draws all people to bring the light of truth. Grant this treasure as the cherubim guards the tree of life. Be very conscious and careful with it to be saved from all evil. Do not give the mysteries to any partaker unless he or she has good and pure conduct. Restore who goes astray 
lest he or she dies and you are held accountable, be aware, be aware of negligence as the whole world is not worth even one particle of it. In dispensing in messages, do so in order, calmness, tranquility, caution, and carefulness. Show the holy vessels once, twice, and or even three times to one with sharp eyesight, so that your ministry may be acceptable, your intercession honor, your prayers beneficial, and the grace of God remain with you. May the Lord God, the head of all authorities, the giver of all honors, and the founder of priesthood on earth, as it is in heaven, help you, support you, watch upon you, and be aware of the gravity of the sacrifice in your hands. It is Christ Emmanuel who gave himself up for you. Know with no doubt that you are breaking his body. You are holding in your hands the one whom Simeon the priest held in honor and glory, and that this cup is true, truly his blood shed for our sins, by which he saved all of the captives from Hades. This blood came forth to us from the true vine, which is his divine side after he commanded his spirit on the cross. Truly, this sacrament is a great mystery. This is the holy body and the precious blood by which all creation is saved. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world and draws all people to be gone in the light of truth. Guard this treasure as the cherubim guards the tree of life. Be very cautious and careful with it to be saved from all evil. Do not give the mysteries to any partaker unless he or she has a good and pure conduct. Restore who goes astray lest he or she dies and you are held accountable. Beware of negligence as the whole world is not worthy even one particle of it. ترتيب ونظام وهدوء وسكون وحرص واحتراز وتفتيش برامج العيون وأعراض الأواني المقدسة على من يكون حد النظر مرة واثنين أو ثلاثة فإن العيان أو كد من الخبر لتكون خدمتك مقبولة ووسطتك مكرمة وصلاتك نافعة ونعمة رب عليك سبغة May the Lord God, the head of all authorities, the giver of all honors, and the founder of priesthood on earth, as it is in heaven, help you, and to tulu amin, support you, watch upon you, and confirm you with his strength to assume this service all the days of your life. May he bless you and bless others through you. May he allow you to be enthroned with the 24 spiritual priests and permit you to hear the voice full of joy saying, enter into the joy of your Lord to inherit the kingdom prepared for you before the ordination of the world.
this is the end of the ordination rite. We will now continue the liturgy. We chose the name Mark as he will be doing missionary work on behalf of the Coptic Orthodox Church. And the Coptic Orthodox Church is also known as the Church of St. Mark. And St. Mark is the one who brought Christianity to Egypt. So we wish for Abuna Mark to be like St. Mark and bring Christianity to other parts of the world. Amin, Amin, Amin. نقول بقى قبلوا بعضكم بعضا. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yes, Lord, who is Jesus Christ, hear us and have mercy upon us. Offer, offer, offer in order. Stand with trembling, look toward the east, let us act. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, St. Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. upon the lowly who has created the heavens the earth the sea and all that is there in the father of our lord god and savior jesus christ by whom you have created all things visible and invisible who is seated upon the throne of his glory and who is worshipped by all the holy powers you who are seated stand before whom stand the angels the archangels the principalities the authorities the thrones the dominions and the powers look towards the east you are he around whom stand the cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with six wings, praising continuously without ceasing, saying, Let us attend. The cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, us created us placed us in the paradise of joy when we disobeyed your commandment by the deceit of the serpent we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy you have not abandoned us to the end but have always visited us through your holy prophets and in the last days you manifest yourself to us who are sitting in darkness and the shadow of death through your only begotten son our lord god and savior jesus christ you of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Virgin, me. Amen. Amen.
He granted us the best from on high through water and spirit. He made us unto himself and assembled people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who were in the world and had a ransom on for our behalf, gave himself up unto this which reigned over us, whereby we were bound and sold on account of our sin. He descended into Hades through the cross. Amen, I believe. He rose from the dead on the third day. He ascended into the heavens, said that your right and all Father has appointed a day for recompense on which will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one, each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. Of He took bread into his holy hands, which are without spot or blemish, blessed and life giving. We believe that this is true. Looked up towards heaven to you, O God, who are his father, master of everyone, when he had given thanks. Amen. He blessed it and he sanctified it. Amen. We believe, we confess, and we He broke it and gave it to his own holy disciples and saintly apostles, saying, Take, eat of it, all of you, for this is my body which is broken for you and for many. To be given for the remission of sins, this do in remembrance of me. This is true. Likewise, the cup after supper, he mixed it of wine and oats when he had given thanks. Amen. He blessed it. Amen. And he sanctified it. Amen. Again, we believe, we confess, and we tasted and gave it also to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles saying take drink of it all of you for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins due in remembrance of, of me كل مرة تأكلون من هذا الخبز وتشربون من هذه الكاس تبشرون بموت وتعترفون بقيامة وتذكرونني إلى أن أجي آمين 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 بموتك يا رب نباشر وبقيامتك المقدسة وصعودك إلى السماوات
Therefore, as we also commemorate His holy passion, His resurrection from the dead, His ascension into the heavens, His sitting at your right hand, O Father, and His second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory, we offer unto you your gifts from what is yours for everything concerning everything and in everything. Worship God in fear and trembling. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. Oh. Let us attend. Amen. Oh, <laughs> Make us all worthy, our Master, to partake of your holies unto the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a share and inheritance with all the saints who have peace in the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only holy, Catholic, and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Pray for the peace of the one holy, Catholic, and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Lord, have mercy. This which you have acquired unto yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, Keep her in peace with all the Orthodox faith who are in her. For most remember, O Lord, our blessed and honor Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch, Bob Abba, Tawadros II, and his birth in the Apostolic Legion, our Holy Father, the Bishop Ambassador, and, uh, and uh, his birth in the Apostolic Legion, our Holy Father, Bishop. And the David. Pray for our high priest, Pope Abba Soldiers II, Pope Patriarch of the Great City of Alexandria, and his brother Apostolic Liturgy, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mark Ignatius of Prim, the Second Kareem, and his partner of the Apostolic Liturgy, our father of the Bishop Emma Soriel, and his partner of the Apostolic Liturgy, our father of the Bishop Emma David, for all Orthodox bishops. Lord have mercy. <laughs> And those who rightly handle the word of truth to them, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the orthodoxy, gomens, priests, and deacons. Lord, have Pray for the hegomens, priests, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven orders of the church of God. Lord, have mercy. وكل للخدام وكل الذين في البتولية وطارد كل شعبك المؤمن اذكر يا رب وأن ترحمنا كلنا معا ارحمنا يا الله Remember, O oh Lord, the salvation of this your holy place and every place and every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. Pray for the salvation of the world and of the city of ours and all of the thirties countries, islands, and monasteries. Lord, have mercy. And those who the world in God's face, remember, O oh Lord, 
Graciously accord, Lord, all the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the waters of river, the seeds and herbs, and the plants of the field this year to play them. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Raise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth, may its furrows be abundantly water, and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting, manage our lives as deemed fit. بارك كلين للسنة بصلاحك من أجل فقراء شعبك من أجل الأرملة واليتيم والغريب والضيف ومن أجلنا نحن كلنا الذين نرجوك أن نطلب اسمك القدوس لأن عين الكل تترجاك لأنك أنت الذي تعطيهم طعامهم في حين حسن اصنع معنا حسب صلاحك يا معطيا طعاما لكل جسد املا قلوبنا فرحا ونعيما لكي نحن ايضا نستكون لنا الكفايه في كل شيء في كل حين نزداد في كل عمل صالح يا رب ارحم So those we have, they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all the heavenly reward. Holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them. Lord, choice o and take a rib maybe and need a web tear it of run a kiss jenny Ni patriarchis, ni e prophetis, ni apostolos, ni revi oish, ni evangelistis, ni martiros, ni mologitis, ne me pnevmani ven enet mi et avgo ke volche. Et me in o o et o em parthenos en seion even ti the otokos et o ab ti a a a a a a a Etas ek bi evno tipilogos Gen omet mi Nen pe agios yo enes Pe prodromos en baptistis O ohe martiros Nen pe agios estefanos Pe archidiakonos O ohe me protomartiros Nem bithi orimos en evangelistis, 
Marcos pi apostolo sit o o web o em martiros nem pi patriarchi sit o web severis nem pensach dios coros nem pi agios athanasius pi apostolicos Nempi agios Petros yero marti eros pi arshi erevs. Nempi agios yo anes pi echrezos tomos. Nempi agios te odosios. Nempi agios Teufilos, Nempi agios Dimetrios, Nempi agios Kirillos, Nempi agios Basilios, Nempi agios Egregorios Pithiologos, Nempi agios Egregorios Pithabmaturgos, Nempi agios Agios egrigori eios pi armenios. And the 318 assembled at Nicaea, and the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus, our righteous father, the great Abba Antony, the righteous Abba Paul, the three saints Abba Macari, and all the children there, the cross bearers, our father Abba John de Higumin, our righteous father of Abishoi, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. Our father of Paul of Tammu and Ezekiel, his disciple. My lords, the Roman fathers, Saint Maximus and Domedius, and the 49 martyrs, the elders of Sheheed, the strong saint of Moses, and John Cami, the priest, our father of Daniel the Higumin, our father of Isidore the priest, our father of Apechum of the Kinonia, and Theodore his disciple. Our father of Shinuti the Archmandrite, and of Awisa his disciple. And all the choir of your saints, through whose prayers and supplications, have mercy on us all and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let those who read recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep, O oh Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. <laughs>
whose souls you have taken repose them in the paradise of joy in the region of the living forever and holy Jerusalem in that place and we too are sojourners in this place keep us in your faith and grant your peace unto the end as it was and shall throughout the way into your kingdom that as in this also in all things your great and holy name be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed with Jesus Christ your beloved Son and the Holy Spirit Let us give thanks to God, the Andukrat, who the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for he has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, lift up our hands and serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mysteries. Amen. His Son, His only begotten Son, into the world, He taught us the law and the commandments written in the Holy Gospel, and taught us that fasting and prayer cast out demons when He said, This kind cannot come out by anything except by prayer and fasting. Fasting and prayers are those which raise Elijah to heaven and save Daniel from the lion's den. Fasting and prayers are those which Moses pursue till he receive the law and the commandments written with the finger of God. Fasting and prayers are those which the Ninevites pursued. God had mercy on them, forgave them their sins and lifted his wrath away from them. Fasting and prayers are those which the prophets pursued. And they prophesied concerning the advent of Christ many generations before his coming. Lord, have mercy. Fasting and prayers are those which the apostles pursued. They preached to all the nations, made them Christians, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Fasting and prayers are those which the martyrs pursued till they shed the, their blood 
for the name of Christ who confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. Fasting and prayers are those which the righteous pursue. And the just and the cross bearers pursued, and they dwelt in the mountains, desert, and holes of the earth because of their great love for Christ the King. So let us fast from all evil with purity and righteousness, and let us proceed forth and this holy sacrifice and partake of it with thanksgiving, so that with a pure heart and enlightened soul and ashamed faith of faith and faith a perfect love and a firm hope, we may be there with boldness without fear to pray to you, O God, the Holy Father who is in the heavens and say, Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, thy kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. Christ, Son of God, the sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the All-Holy Father, one is the All-Holy Son, one is the All-Holy Spirit. Amen. Irini Pasi, et omnem mati so, so magion kemati imion alithinon iso resto to eto theo imon. Amen. And precious are the true body and blood of Jesus Christ, Son of our God. Amen. Amen. Gasad, what a mamma no ilila hina. Ada wabil haki koti.
Amin, Amin, Amin. Amin, Amin, Amin. I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. And confess to the last breath. And confess to the last breath. That this is the life giving flesh. That this is the life giving flesh. Of your only begotten Son. Of your only begotten Son. Our Lord. Our Lord. Our God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Our God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Took from our Lady. Took from our Lady. The Lady of us all. The Lady of us all. The Holy Theotokos Saint Mary. The Holy Theotokos Saint Mary. He made it one with his divinity. He made it one with his, with his divinity. Without mingling, without mingling, without confusion, without confusion, and without alteration, and without alteration, he confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all of his own will for us all truly i believe truly i believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment nor a twinkling of an eye for a single moment nor a twinkling of an eye given for us for salvation given for us for salvation Remission of sins. Remission of sins. And eternal life to those who partake of it. And eternal life to those who partake of it. I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. That this is so in truth. Amen. That this is so in truth. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe. This is true, amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us, concerning them, remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you, sing alleluia. Pray for the worthy partaking of the Immaculate, Heavenly, and Holy Mystery. Is Lord of mercy.
In order to be able to take the Holy Communion, the Holy Body and the Precious Blood of our Lord, you need to be baptized in the Coptic Orthodox Church or one of its sister churches, if married also to be married in the Coptic Orthodox Church or one of its sister churches, and to live a life of repentance, to have a father of confession. God bless you. If you are otherwise and you are interested to learn more about the Coptic Church, meet one of the priests after the liturgy.
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Isos pecheristos in este vinere Oh, I'm mad. 
غير ما يا رب العالمين ما لم تره عين ما لم تسمع به اذن ما يخطر قال بشر ما عادته يا محب اسم هذا اعلنت لنا نحن الاطفال الصغار لنزين البيعات كالمقدس نعم ايها الاب نازل نصر نصر ارسل لك اللي فوق المجد والكرام والعزه والسجود ايها الاب والابن والراك والرسول الان كل لو اندار الدور كل امين اسكي فلاس مونت كوريو كليناتي علي الكلاب هذا نخدم ونطلب الناس ونطلب حل فيهم وسير بينهم وساعدهم في كل عمل صالح ان هي قلوبهم من كل فكره دي ارض يمنحهم من يحيى ويفكروا فيما هو الاحياء وافهموا بما هو لك بابنك وعيد جنس ربنا ولنا مخلصنا يسوع المسيح هذا الذي نحن نقول شعبنا صاروا قائلين الحمد يا الله مخلصنا Let us praise the angels saying glory to God in highest peace on earth and good will towards men. Amen. Alleluia. Dux alatri kei oke. Agyom nermati keni kei. Kestos eon aston eon anami. Beno Hashem bonim goem moshe. O ben choi si sos bechrestos eketa fernes tevi. Our 
طراف الله علينا ويبارك نور نير باقي علينا ورحمنا يا رب خل الشعب تبارك ميراثه ورعاهم ورفعهم الأبد ارفع شأن مسحين بقوة صليب المحي بسؤالات وطلبات رفع عنا كل حين وليت لا تارق دي سمرم كان فت مصاف السمعين رؤساء الأباء والأباء والأنبياء والر شهداء المعترفين والسواح نسأل بس صبي صليب عنهم بركة ملاك هذا بيح مقدس رئيس ما جليل مخيل قدس عظيم حنا معمدا قدس عظيم ماري ماركس قدس عظيم الانبا بخميز بارك قديس هذا اليوم بارك يوم الاحد بارك الصوم المقدس بارك عذراء مريم اولا واخيرا بركاتهم قدس هباتهم وعنتهم وحبتهم وشفاعتهم ورحمتهم تكون معنا كلنا من بخريستوس بن نوتي امين اسالشو او كينج اوف بيس جرانت اس يور بيس استابلش يور بيس ابون اس اند فورجيف اس اور سينز يورز از ذا باور ذا جلوري ذا بلسنج اند ذا ماجستي فور ايفر ميك اس اول وردي تو براي ثانكلي اند سي اور فاذر هو ارت ان هيفن Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The love of God the Father and the grace of His only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the gift and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Go in peace. Peace of God be with you. Now the procession, the new priest, Father Mark, and also Father Abraham, who was ordained yesterday, Also, the newly baptized Martha will go in the procession together.
كريستيانوس خلاص ناو ذا لاست ثينج از تو تيك اوف ذا وايت فيستمنتس ونلبسوا العمه اند بوت اون ذا عمه فور هيم والعمه هي طقس الكهنه القبطي مش الطاقيه اللي بتتحط دي ها بالك يا ابونا أنا بس بقول مش ليك أنا بقول للسامعين يعني. Congratulations, Father Mark, and to the church and to the mission ministry in general. Abuna Dawood, Fina Abuna Dawood. Rabbana Ibarik, Rabbana Ibarik al Khidma, when Shuf Khidma Musmira, Khidma to Magid Ism Rabbana, said Dawuni, Fakaru Fiha Kida, Fakar Fiha. Mahma Amaltif Hayatak, we accept. وكل اللي تعمله ده ما يساويش انك تساعد في خلاص نفس واحدة تدخلها السم فكر فيها think about it there is nothing absolutely nothing, nothing that you can achieve in your life better than helping one person to be saved one person if you help one person to be saved you have done a great mission in your life but anything that you achieve in this life that you will leave behind worthless because you are leaving it behind. Think about it. What is your treasure in heaven? The gospel today was treasure in heaven, right? What is your treasure in heaven? Is the work that you do for the kingdom. Rabbana yibarak khidmeta kabuna kun khidma musmira khidma al-magd ism rabbana. Be good news, Abuna is saying to me now that there is a Rabbi. This is good news. So after? Yeah. The good news is there is a Rabbi, which is every good news every week. So, Tfadalu Ashan Tahdu, Lawal Tahdu Barakit Sayyidna, Wadik. Abuna Mark, Abuna Mark, Ta'ala Shtagal min Awalha, Ta'araf in the Lamalaya Mishtal. Waza al Barak. بفرصة هنو هو بيوزع عليكم البركة واحد يوزع البركة وواحد يوزع صورة البابا شنود وأنا سيدنا أنبا سيرالا نروح نفطر
عايزين نرحب بالاباء اللي جم باركونا النهارده ابونا جريجوري فروم كاليفورنيا فروم ذا دايسز اوف لوس انجلوس كنت في نفس الجامعه مع سامح في ال جراديوت سكول وذ سامح جراديوت سكول وذ ابونا مارك نو مور سامح ابونا داود لمعي ابونا ابونا مكاري فروم نيوجيرسي كل دولت اصحاب ابونا واشتغلوا معاه في الايفانجلزم ابونا اناستاسي از اي سيد ريسبونسبل فور ميشن اند ايفانجلزم اند يوث ابونا مينا سان انتوني مين تاني لاقيين انتوا عارفينهم بقى يلا ربنا معاكم Thing, bro. It's the CYC. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. 